from last year, 12th September 2020, weekend day. There were 2,656 cases, there were 18 deaths, and there were 218 hospital admissions. We know that after that date, there was lockdown in November, and there was another third national lockdown in January. So take the same day this year, cases more than 10 times as many. 29,173 deaths, three times as many, 56 hospital admissions, one over 1,000. Yep. So we're looking at withdrawing the restrictions at a time when we're in a far worse position than we were this time. Yeah. Can we just underline those, those <laughs> extraordinary figures? Yeah, yeah. 18 deaths on the 12th of September last year, 56 deaths same day this year. As you say, hospital admissions massively up. I thought vaccines had sorted this out. No, I, look, I we, really did. We've it's vaccinated 65% of the population. If you, if you bear in mind that we're not vaccinating children, only 65% of the population have been vaccinated, which means that there are millions of people who are unprotected, totally unprotected. What this means is we're going to see large numbers of cases. We're currently seeing about 30,000 cases, far more than we saw this time last year. But you think with the, the amount of vaccines that had been given, the figures would be going down. I don't understand it. It doesn't... Well, to make any logical sense. We're, seeing, we're seeing infections in younger people who aren't vaccinated, largely. Hmm. So we're, we're seeing um, cases rise, so we're going to see hospitalizations increase. But why and, and that is, but why I, I can see why kids would get it more, but then they're not very much at risk from COVID. Why do we have 56 deaths on the 12th of September this year, a couple of days yesterday, and 18 last year? Why has it gone up? Just the number of cases, sheer number of cases. If you, if you have more cases, you're going to have more hospitalizations, you're going to see more deaths. Delta variant is still out there. It's not changed. So, so the implications of a serious infection with, with uh, COVID-19 are, are worse with the more number of cases that you have. And and as simple as that. So I am, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that they are abandoning all restrictions across the board so quickly, one of, one of which is to not detain people who are infectious. Now, that's